Scott Hamilton. Good morning. My name is Scott Hamilton. I live at 2346 Northwest 11th Street in Oklahoma City. I had the privilege of addressing this body three weeks ago, and as of yesterday, decided that I would not speak today. But this morning, I find myself unable to remain silent. Three weeks ago, when I stood before you, I represented Cimarron Alliance, an organization advocating for and educating about Oklahoma's 365,000 gay men and women. I also indicated at that time that I am a minister of God in an open and affirming United Church of Christ congregation here in Oklahoma City. This morning, though, I represent neither of those groups, but simply myself. The things that I have heard here today sadden me, anger me, and make me more than a little afraid. To say that we are simply following what the law requires, Councilman Kelly, is not good enough because for too long the law allowed for the discrimination of people of color in our society. Councilman McAtee, you did ask me the question, what's the foundation of society? And I answered that. I'm sorry it wasn't to your satisfaction, but I said the family. I also talked about my family. And perhaps my family doesn't count as much as yours or those families also represented here today, but it matters to me. And families like me matter to me. I cannot stand here today and listen to the lies that I have heard espoused in the guise of statistics. These are not statistics. And to talk about sexual orientation as behavior is wrong. According to all accepted science today, one cannot change one's sexual orientation any more than one's eye color or right-handedness. And so we're not talking about behavior. We are talking about personhood. And to couch in Christian terms these so-called statistics, I'll call them what they are, they are lies. It's time for us to be truthful. It's time to us, for us to stand up as a city saying we will not tolerate discrimination against any person. Finally, this does not create a protected class. It says that no person can be discriminated against based on sexual orientation. That means every straight person employed by the city of Oklahoma City has the same protection. It's not a protected class. It's simply doing what is right. And I hope that you will all want to be on the right side of history, caring about all persons in this city today and for our future. Thank you.